to our tremolo series. In this series, we're going to share with you tremolo pedals by some of our favorite manufacturers. Thanks for joining us. Today we're looking at the Hummingbird by Earthquaker Devices, and the beard's going to tell you more about it. Yeah, so this is a really unique tremolo pedal based on the repeat percussion uh, units, um, similar to maybe like an old Valco or Vox amplifier. Mm -hmm. uh, that's it. That's like the technical stuff you can get from reading the webpage, but uh, like just really unique yeah. tremolo out of all the ones we have. I remember when this came... You were sending me clips of this one, like, it felt like all the time. Like, right. there was something about this. You're like, this is different. I really... Yeah, and, and we've talked about, like, uh, kind of new to the tremolo world. Wasn't one of my favorite effects. It's becoming something that I like a lot more. Really liked harmonic tremolo, whatever. Mm -hmm. And then there's this. Right. <laughs> then there's this. And this is, like, uh, I'm not 100% sure... Why? But I just, I, I love it. Mm -hmm. So every once in a while you get like, we get a lot of pedals coming through that we're doing for the show. And every now and then one hits you and you're like, Whoa. like there's just something really unique about right. this particular one that I really like. And so, um, interesting, we talked to Jamie Stillman uh, during our 19 conversation series. And in that he was talking to us about some of his favorite pedals and he, he told us about the speaker cranker, which we got. Great. Awesome pedal. And this was one of the other ones he often has on his board. Mm -hmm. And I can see why. And it's good enough for the creator. <laughs> right. And it's, it's, it's fantastic. Um, I think in every tremolo video we've done so far, when we crank the speed all the way up, we refer to it as like the hummingbird wig thing. Well, this pedal called the hummingbird for a reason because it probably does that sound right. the like, best. Like a squadron of the hummingbirds. Right, right. <laughs> so, and, and you know what's about time we have something that's really simple and straightforward, right? Yeah. We have a depth knob, we have a rate knob, we have a three way toggle switch. All the way to the left is mode one. That's the slowest mode. All the way to the right is mode two. That's the medium mode. And in the middle is mode three. That is the fastest mode. And I think they put mode three in the middle because it's the most fun. <laughs> and then <laughs> you have a level knob. So again, uh, turn the volume all the way off. I have a boost pedal. Which the speaker cranker is not a boost. <laughs> <laughs> right. So the only other feature on here would be an expression port on the side. So we can plug in the expression pedal, control the speed with that. Would we'll you hear that later, and it's going to be fun. <laughs> it is I got fun. a preview before we fired up the cameras. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's, it's so much fun. So, I mean, that's it. That's the features. Volume, speed, depth, three different uh, modes mm -hmm. that really just kind of change the way the speed knob works, right. and then your expression pedal. All right. So I think we start with maybe running the depth. We've been doing that on all the tremolo players. Just to give you an idea where the depth goes. We start at 12, so Pat can kind of hear what the rate is. Move it down to zero, so you can hear where it kind of fades out, where it comes back in. And then go all the way up to 12. And I'm going to say on this one, even like 10, 11 o'clock, it almost feels like it's out. But then, like, if you kind of let it ring, you can kind of hear yeah. it come in underneath Out of it. Tail. Yep. Uh, so this has, like, a, it gets down where it has, like, a real subtle thing. And that sometimes on tremolos, that real subtle background just movement that you don't hear until you turn it off mm -hmm. is really good. So, so we'll be doing the sounds uh, through uh, the Beard's uh, 2001 McCarty hollow body and the Tyler PT-22 and the uh, ever-present uh, reference tone. <laughs> Something like that. I keep saying that amp sounds great. It does. <laughs> Every time you do it. it does. Um, all right, so here we go. Uh, we might need to check the speed.
So yeah. you get where that repeat mm-hmm. <laughs> percussion thing mm-hmm. comes from. Okay. So let's talk rate. Um, we were trying to figure out a good way to show this. I'm not 100% <laughs> certain that we got a good way, but I think we do. If we take, we'll take the depth back so it's not so choppy. I'm going to move it to mode one and put it on the slowest. All right. Let you play a chord. Mm-hmm. Let that ring. I'll move it to mode two, which is all the way to the right. Let you play a chord and then move it to mode three. On the slowest setting, all three of them. Without changing anything but the mode. Right. Okay. All right. Same thing. I'm going to take it to the fastest setting. Start in slow mode, go to medium mode, go to fast mode. All right. Yeah, I think I know why you did that, because it was so fast, you're like, is it on? It's right. so fast at that setting. There's your hummingbird. Yeah, right. There's the real hummingbird. My parents have a hummingbird feeder on their back porch. Maybe we could put a condenser mic there and just record <laughs> that sound, can... see if it's that. <laughs> see if it's... <laughs> or play this and see if they come. Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, it's it's uh, very cool. So, I think that kind of sums up the features, with the exception of the expression pedal. Which we'll plug in now, but um, we'll show in a second. I because there's so few features, mm-hmm. I thought it'd be kind of cool to talk just a little bit of like why or how. I've been taking pleasure from it. Maybe how, not how I would <laughs> use it necessarily, but how I've just been like, um, what has made my wife send me a text message that's like. I don't know what that was. But that was really annoying. <laughs> so. And we can cancel the exterminator now because any critter that's around here right. is gone. <laughs> right, right. So what I have found that I really like about this pedal, what I really like, I think it's probably mode two because mode three gets real. Cry, cry. <laughs> yeah. Um, what do we have to do here? Push some buttons. So we plug the expression pedal in. Right now it's all the way back at heel. The Moog uh, EP3. So EP2. Two. Sorry. I got us a new one. I got us a new one in my mind. We don't want to mislead people. <laughs> so I'm asking a question. Like you're getting my question. It reacts differently in the different mode. Right, so if I would go to mode three, Which you're is, just going to have, it's going to start faster and end faster. Uh-huh. So it almost gets to that, like, uh, <laughs> a mix our blue box. <laughs> right, the big crush. It's not a big crusher, but. Yeah, um, all those overtones and. It's a little sputtery. So I like it here. But okay. Where this pedal for me, where this pedal for me really starts to be fun is when you throw something in front of it. Mm-hmm. So if you throw, for instance, and because we have the expression pedal plugged in here, right. I'm not able to make the screen big enough to show you <laughs> that we've put in a 
TL pedal stinger fuzz. So maybe I can pop a picture up of that, but uh, sorry about that, Tim. But we have the TL pedal stinger fuzz, and if I click that on. but it's a mess it's but it's it just there's something about the way it handles the mm -hmm. just like the big mm -hmm. Just sounds great. It is. It's that's great. It's big fun. Um, a little sloppy. <laughs> when we played around before, and I was like, "Oh, this would be cool." We got to it. I'm like, "I don't remember what we were doing." Anyway, uh, that's the Earthquake or Hummingbird. Mm -hmm. Did I miss anything? I don't think so. So we really appreciate everybody that's been supporting the channel recently. Every time that you subscribe, hit the like button, leave a comment below. Uh, go out to Facebook or Instagram and connect with us there. You're really helping out the show. We appreciate that. We appreciate that support from you to no end. Uh, if nothing else down in the comments, just you know, tell us where you're watching from or something because we'd love to hear from you. All right. um, and I think with that... I'm PJ. On behalf of The Beard, reminding you no matter what you hear, you never have too much gear. Here it comes. <laughs> Back at the end. <laughs> yeah, I think that hummingbird has fangs. <laughs> 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 <laughs>